The excitement in Texas over this spate flight could be felt here in New York City. People gathered in Times Square to watch on the big screen. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge joined them. Cell phones up, recording an historic moment of space tourism. These spectators watched the launch of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos's rocket, New Shepard, on a massive digital screen at 42nd Street and 7th Avenue. This father sharing the moment on FaceTime with his son. I'm excited about it. I think that this is where we need to be going as humanity. We need to go into space, and uh, it's an exciting first step to getting there. These parents brought their daughter to watch a new era of space tourism unfold. For her, it was What's cool is this is the first experience to really watch somebody go into space. So it's like history, like literally right now for Bria. So would Bria and her mom consider a flight to space? I wouldn't do that at home. <laughs> I'm going to stay right here on the ground. But we did find several willing volunteers who said if they had a couple hundred thousand dollars, they would blast off to space in a heartbeat. I would definitely go up, and I, I would be in the first um, crew to go up if I had the chance. Fascinated with it since I was a kid, so uh, to see it actually happen in my lifetime is really cool. If I had just some extra money laying around and business was going well, then yes, of course. It's like, why not go? And as these spectators watched the crew land safely back on Earth, they said there was a sense that the ride wasn't over, that commercial space travel is just beginning. In Times Square, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. That it is. Bezos says Blue Origin plans two more launches this year, the next one sometime in the fall.